Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, thought I'd do one on the van today. Um, I don't know what you can see because, like I said before, I haven't got a viewfinder on, and it's this way around. So, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do one on the van today. I haven't done one for quite a while, um, and I've had the van nearly a year now, and it's just failed its MOT. Uh, nothing major. Um, a brake light bulb, what was quite funny because it was working when I took it in and it's working when I come out, <laughs> pulled it out, and a uh, broken spring, broken front spring, cool spring. Um, so that's what I'm waiting for now, a spring. So I thought, why well, I've got a chance, it's going to be a couple of days without the van, so I might as well have a little play with it. Um, because I haven't, I've left, I've left everything on the van. Actually, no, I haven't done a video on it because basically I haven't really altered anything. And I haven't done half the things I wanted to do. So it's time to start doing them bits, isn't it? Right, um, I'm going to look around the van, bits and pieces, what I'm doing. Um, but it's very windy outside. Um, not as windy as last week. Last week was the um, Storm um, Doris, was it, or something like that it was called. And it's, it's exactly a week week on now, but um, we had some wind last night. A little bit of a wind you know, storm. And it's quite windy out there now, and it's it looks like it's going to rain. So we'll see, we'll see how we get on. All right, we'll see in a bit. Oh, one thing, one thing before I go out there. Um, also, on the advisory street, um, for, not only advice, was uh, tire on the um, near side, passenger side, um, was low to the limit. Um, must admit, when I looked, I actually thought it was down to the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously I didn't think it was that bad um, and the spring on that side he reckons is a bit weak so obviously it's best to do them in pairs anyway so that's because we're a pair of springs and uh, anti-roll bar bush um, it's, it's on its way out so I mean it's only advisory but if you're going to strip it down you might as well do the lot mightn't you uh, what else was there I think that was it but there's kind of advisory bits, but I'm going to do them because I don't want it to let me down halfway through the season. Um, cause I'm hoping it's going to be a better year than last year with the, with the van. Right, let's get outside and have a look, shall we? Right, well I did a little job this morning, I did a service. And I'm in toolbox, there was loads of crap everywhere because I just chucked loads of bits of bobs in. And there's loads of crap in here anyway. Um, and I thought to make it look good, I'd just chuck one toolbox in. <laughs> Um, but it's only a quick service, so um, that was it. But because uh, I've been sort of really, I haven't been carrying a lot of tools at all because work hasn't been there in the win this winter. And I just load it up when I need to put tools in it now. I uh, also did Keith um, not yesterday, a day before, and I used my little wash and I left that in here. Um, don't know if the shelves were in here before. Uh, on the last video, I've got these shelves. Um, you get like three shelves. That one's the wrong way round. I'll turn it round the other way because the way they sit at the back, um, it obviously sticks out more because of the door. And to get in it, I've had to turn it round. But they, they feel like they're so dear. But they actually, they, they rattle like hell. <laughs> they drive you potty. So I'm gonna have to think of a way to. It's, it's actual little doors. These open up, and um, yeah, but I don't know if they were in. If I mentioned these before, like I say, I actually bought um, three shelves, slightly different. Well, one of the two, the two shelves, and like a little cupboard from a local auction. Um, I think I bid it twenty-eight pound, but with the commission, it comes to about thirty-three quid for the three shelves. So I thought that's fair enough, and it just works that. Um, with this shelf against that one, it just fits in this corner here and it holds it. <laughs> it, it doesn't move, so. Um, but I'm thinking I might end up taking that one out because I've had. If you, I don't know if you can see. They're basically empty, them ones. Uh, I know I'm not carrying a lot of stock on me now. I'm carrying a lot of rubbish. Not a lot of stock. Because um, there's no point. Some filters. And bits and put some more filters in the bridge for fill oil filter there. I've got there actually for a job. Um what's coming up. 
But yeah, it's not a handy little old shelves. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll show you what I started to do outside. Actually, no, I haven't got the little battery in here yet. Um, hoping to get that in there later on. It's probably going to go in one of these drawers. Probably going here somewhere, I'm guessing. Um, um, and then the plan is is to wire these up. I haven't. I've only just literally. I've just drilled the holes. I don't know if we can see it actually the light. Um, but um, yes, yeah, I haven't mentioned these lights before. I've actually got another pair as well. So my plan is. I've got. Look, I haven't drilled a hole for the wire yet. Um, I haven't got the nuts on the end. Um, well, I was trying to think where to put them, and in the end I drilled the hole, and you can't really see it, the hole up here, I did literally just drilled through here. Um, I was going to go in here, um, but it just seemed too far back, it would have been back about here. So, um, yeah, I haven't got the nuts, like, so I haven't got the nuts on them yet, and I haven't drilled a hole for the wire, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and with oh, so I've got two lights here, and the idea is oh, it goes to my phone. Hold on. Right, and the other idea is this is my passenger door. I don't know where you can see it. Door. Um, and I'll put another where these bolts are for the roof rack. Put another light on here. So when you have the door open, it'll shine. When you're working next to the van. And. So there's a turn at the back, and then on the driver's side, I'll do the same again. So I oh, can see the bolts better on there. This black crap was a waste of time, and I made a mess because it was in a thunderstorm, if you remember rightly. Um, I know that's on a video somewhere, <laughs> so I should put the light probably on that one, and then um, on that bolt, I will put the wire through <laughs> just to save the nose. I could actually do them. Here, there, there are, oh, you can see it, some holes there in the middle. Might do that. Might say. Yeah, I've got a little bright set. Uh, nothing special. I don't have much for selection, really. Um, a little bright set, so hopefully I can put them around the cable. Um, I think that's the ideal, I don't know if you can see, that's the ideal sort of size. I'm going to see if I can squeeze these little ones in. <laughs> I managed to get some um, cable for it last night when I was playing around. I um, covered it in um, ferried up, ferry uh, liquid, you know, washing up liquid. And uh, I managed to put it through, so I'm hoping I'll better do it once it's in, um, you know, in, in the metal, like, like once it's in the hole. I'm just thinking where I'm going to put it. Yeah. That's the only trouble I had. These holes were different sizes. You sort of caught the side of this one when I drilled that. Then when I went to do this one, I was sort of too far this way. So I had to sort of bodge it a bit. But um, there you go. This is the only trouble about filming out the front. I don't like doing it. Because everybody's walking past or whatever, you know. They just think you're mad talking to yourself. <laughs> I was talking to a camera, but they can't see. <laughs> right, I don't know how we can see that. I've got the bung in, little grommet in. I've got the pipe, the um, wire through. Um, I do use some washing up liquid. See, I'm going to use the cheap brand. Don't need to pay a lot of money for washing up liquid, like we said before. Um, especially because we use a dishwasher anyway. <laughs> I left a little sticker on there, a little pass sticker, that will come up with an inch like it. And obviously it's moving in there quite well now. Oh, the skin's a bit tighter. That's, a, that's a, it's drying up. But, um, I've got it all in underneath that bung. Because that's my main, my main worry, is this, obviously this is a water channel. Come down here. And I uh, have enough water coming in as it is. I've still got to tighten this up. I can't get my hands in there to get on the nut. So uh, I'll get Louis to get his little hands in there. Um, I don't know if it's just the size of the grommet. This one I've been messing around with so it's a bit hacked. 
But that's one done. Just got to do, do the other side now. That's pleased me because that's the one bit I've been dreading. So yeah, I hate I hate drilling holes in in motors. There's nothing worse, especially on the roof. All right, to the next one. I uh, just want to show you the inside. See, that garment's all right, isn't it? But where that hole is there, I've got to get my fingers through. I hope the hole's there. I've got my finger through to the, put the nut on. I just can't get my hands round in there with a the nut. Well, I could if I struggled, but what's the point? When new, better get your hands straight in. And obviously to do this one over here, I'm going to have to move the shelf out. So I'm going to get on with that. All right, see you in a second. Well, I've got that one in now. Just wants pulling down the side a bit more. But um, that's on there. And that one, obviously, I'm going to adjust them. I've left them so I was moving them about a bit. And obviously, once I tighten this bracket up, it'll um, alter. Um, just in case you're wondering what these are, these are the 27 watt bulbs, um, lights, LEDs. Um, and the pair, you can, some people charge like 10 pound on eBay just for one, but you can buy the pair for, I think these two are 12 pound, and I think the other pair, well, it's identical, is um, was 10 pound something with free postage. So um, yeah, and they're good light. They're good. I mean, they're good enough for what I want. Um, I'm going to buy them separate, so I'm like, so going to put two up that end as well. So you'll have, you know, four switches basically. And the idea of that is, is sometimes you don't need all of them. On, you know, you might only, only, only might need one on the back. So, um, but I've got some more lights coming as well. Um, come from Hong Kong or China, or China, I guess yeah, China. So um, I've got some of them flashy. L, L LEDs, you know, the um, little amber ones. I've got two sets of them kind of, I've got six lamps. They're not very big, they're quite small. Um, so I'm hoping to put a set on the back, and a set on the front, maybe in a grill or something, you know, some flashy lights. Um, and I've got um, one of them dash mounted um, lights, kind of flashing lights, which is you know, like three, row, three rows of them. Um, Lights, you know, they sit on a, um, they sit on like a little rubber holder against the window. Uh, well, so I've got two of them coming. Um, not sure if I, I might end up giving one of my brother to see what they're like. I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't particularly like a lot of stuff in, in my own front, in, in my window. I see a bunch of blocks out when I'm when I'm driving. Um, but uh, yeah, they were only cheap. I think they were about. Eight quid a set, you know, so nothing. We're not talking mega money here, we're talking cheap and nasty. <laughs> but if it does the job, it does the job. Right, I've got something else to put bolt on now. Right, the next one I'm bolting on is this. I'm sure you know what it is. It's a, a twig holder, <laughs> it's an aerial holder for a CB. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you know that I've got a CB in the, in the van by now, you must know. If not, I've got a CB in the van. <laughs> um, but I've got the magnet one on the roof, and I just thought I'd rather have a bolt on um, than the magnet one. So, this is a 13mm a fitting, and they do say that you can just drum out with a half inch or 30mm and it should be the right size. I have fitted these in the past um, because I used to have CB years ago um, but I mean they're pretty straightforward you just undo this screw and the bracket and um, it's got a rubber seal on it put it back together, wire it, put the cable back on coax back on and screw your aerial back in it so that's the next job that's the egg mount, hope you can see it. What I want to replace, the reason I want to replace it with one of these is because of the cables, I mean in the day, like in the 80s, they would just snip this and take your aerial and uh, you, always, you, you could never leave them on the motor. But now nobody's interested in CBs, so uh, 
as such. It mind you, he's having to come back because the law's changed. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my idea. So I'm get rid of these cables going down out, out the door. Right, well, while we're on a subject of CBs, because I've got one about my aerial, might as well show me CB. It's a, and I'm just checking, it's a CRT1, and they call these the smallest CB radio you know, in the world or whatever. Um, I'll try to give you an idea of how big it is with my hand, look. <laughs> and they are tiny, and you hold the channel, uh, I think sun's on it, you hold the channel on the top of that. I, I can't turn it on because obviously I ain't got my twig in. So, um, you don't want to fire these up. And um, next to that, down on the floor, mind the mess, little silver gold box, is a B47 amp, or what you call them in our day, boots. Um, yeah, obviously, it just runs through the cigarette lighter. Yeah, so I just thought I could show you that. I won't, I'll, I'll have to do a little video on the CB one day. Um, don't really use it a lot myself, but I just have it in the back, on you know, on, on in the background. Um, it's nice to have a little bit of power, and obviously with that you do um, pick up receive a bit more as well, because it's you know it does work both ways, the amp as such. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you sort of quickly. So I won't turn it on, but it is tiny. I'll get your hand out to show you. It is tiny. Though. <laughs> what is ideal for in here and obviously with the big old rigs you used to catch your legs on and this is an FM AM set um, you guys got uh, FM and UK FM and AM on it because the laws all changed now so you can now use um, AM and you can also use sideband SSB upper and lower and all that and uh, what you never used to be able to so back, back in the day so yeah it's pretty good Anyway, it's gone with putting his aerial on. And this is another reason I want to change the magnet. I don't know if you can see it. The water's always sound, look, you can see where the water sits. So, obviously that's not good, is it? So, that's another reason I want to put the bolt on. I've already got the lamp. It's got the magnets on it still, but it's bolted. <laughs> Bolted right through the magnet, right on. But the cables, I've just kept the cable out at the moment because you you have to keep the plug on the flashlight. And I don't know if I can take the plug apart to thread it through and then connect it again, or you need to take it apart and solder. And if it's a lot of hassle, I mean, at the moment, somebody might cut the lead, but they won't get away with the light, not unless they take me roof with me with them. Okay, good. <laughs> Louis just got back from school. It's um, World Book Day, and he's gone as uh, Harry Potter, or as we like to say, Harry Potter. It's pretty good, isn't it? He's gonna do some magic on my van and fix it for me. Hey, mate. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's not bags at the door. You can tell the kids are home, look, because the cat from down the road's come here. Nice old cat, I guess. Right, it's getting dark now. Um, yeah, just before I mentioned how um, I've got the nuts on them bolts though with the lights on. Because even Louie couldn't get his hand in there. So if we actually just put the interior light on, it might be. Oh, that's made no difference really, has it? <laughs> but um, couldn't, Louie couldn't get his hands in the um, in there either to, to put the nuts on. So where I drilled the, the little round holes were drilled. Uh, to put the lamp on, I got my magnet. I put the nut on the end of it, and I put it on and just turned it enough to caught it. And then once it is on there enough, I could get a spanner in there, and uh, then Louis tightened them up. But like I say, we couldn't get even Louis couldn't get his hand in there with the nut. Well, I thought he would, because he's I know he's only little, but he's got quite big hands as well. And uh, but yeah, as they're all, like at least they're tightened up now, so uh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I have to deal with. See? You just don't realise what I have to deal with. Yeah. And that's only two of them. Imagine most like there's a load of them. 
No, you can't even sit in the van for five minutes to have a bit of a break, can you? Right, got the uh, lights on now. Um, wires through, and the aerials on there now. Lou's sweeping up, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a customer come, so we lost a bit of time. You picked up that saw what I did in the um, had in the um, uh, the update video, the garage workshop, whatever it was, update. Um, I could show you the CB, but I haven't got the keys in it. All works off the keys. When um, I um, put the leisure battery, in, I'm going to alter that so the CB will run off the the leisure battery, so that um, I can have it on when I'm parked up. So what he's doing, what he's up to, they'll be coming in, banging in the door. I right? think. Uh, he's going to just chuck the broom against. Yeah, I see. I can see him, mate. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're, that's sort of that's what's happening in the van so far. Um, like, so I've got the other lights coming, the little flashy lights, and the spring coming. So we're going to put the spring on it, uh, or springs on it, because we're going to do both sides, like I said. Um, what else is there? I think that's about it for now. Um, the next video I'm going to do will be actually it'll be Lewis Westwood, I think, because um, I'm going to. Um, just wire it up. Well, I'm sort of basically halfway through doing that video anyway, but uh, like I say, it's a nice day, so we've done, I've done this. But, uh, I think that'll be the next video. And it's always with the van. I always get cold when, or a bit of a cold when the bloody van. We'll do the van, so it's a bit. Again. <laughs> but there you go, he's gone down the road. Alright. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and all the rest of it if you like thumbs up and um subscribe and hopefully see you next time right bye for now